Well, what's going on, everybody? It's Patrick Bitt Outdoors. Come back. I'm always trying to tweak or trying to get better components to shoot videos with. So I've got something I want to try out. You might be interested in. We're going to see how it works. So come back. What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Mitte Outdoors. How is my outdoor crew doing? I hope this video finds you well. So, I'm always looking for that next thing to help me with videos, whether it be sound, whether it be lighting, whatever it needs to be to make a better looking video. <clears throat> I think we all are. At some point, we look for what can we do next to make that, get that video that you know just drags everybody in well one of the things that's important is audio and being able to take your audio with you you know record the audio the best you can with my Canon I have two options um, when I'm out when I'm out in the field I only have really one and that's a shotgun mic on top of the camera the second option is my lav mic that I use when I'm in the garage slash studio uh, recording in there to get better audio. Um, sometimes you're limited by your camera's you know ability. If your camera's not allowed, doesn't allow for um, an external microphone, then you kind of you know out of luck and you're stuck with what you get kind of like shooting on this Sony there's no true mic input on this camera even though there's a Sony built a mic a shotgun mic to go on top of this camera I don't have it I'm not paying $297 $197 whatever it is for a mic to go on top of this camera I'll just deal with the onboard mics that are on top now but I've got something we're going to try out um, I think this will free me up, especially with being a laugh type mic and not a shotgun mic, so it will probably get better quality um, and that kind of thing. So we're going to try that. Let's get into the studio and we'll see what we All right, so we're in studio. Um, I've got the little box for the mic in my hand. Um, the only thing I can find on it is call the k35 pro wireless lav microphone let me put that up there so you can see all that this is a single channel they do offer a dual this was on a um, deal uh, one of those deals that popped up on amazon and i thought well i'm gonna try it out i'm wanting something wireless um, to do some different types of videos here for you pretty soon so I saw this thing and I was like, you know what, it's 25 bucks, 27 bucks, you know, free shipping and everything. So why not? Let's try it. Uh, right now I do have my Boya hooked up, my lav. Uh, if I don't beat y'all up too bad, unplugging it. But there it is right there. There's the little lav. It is corded. Uh, this other one's cordless. So let's disconnect all this and we'll put the uh, wireless one on there and we'll see how it sounds. All right, guys, so we've got the lav hooked up, the wireless lav. Uh, matter of fact, I'm gonna, I've got my Sony in my hand. So I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna hit the wrong button. I'm gonna hit record on the Sony and I'm gonna show you the lav sticking out of the side of the Canon right now and how it sticks out. Now, I'm not a big fan of that because that could get hit and break. So what I might do is get an extension cord, like a the shortest length I can maybe, and do some kind of something else with a cage um, or with um, some kind of mount up top. So I may look at doing that, but there's, there's the, uh, let's see, focus. So much crap behind there. So you can see it's focusing on the actual um, thing and how it's set up. Yeah, I've got a light here, got a light there. Um, so what I want to try now 
and I'm not using the Sony audio. Matter of fact, I got the Sony off. Uh, it was just to show you what that looked like. I'm going to walk around the garage a little bit. We're going to see how far this thing picks up. Um, right now, I'm over by my gun locker. I'm not touching any guns or nothing. Um, let's see. So, if I was to turn to the workbench, like so, hopefully you're still hearing me. What I want to do is I'm going to stop recording right now. I'm going to actually take this in and edit to this point so I can see if I have to tweak the audio any whatsoever or if it's good to go. Um, I'm hoping it's good to go. I never tweak. The only thing I've had to do with any of the other mics is turn the volume down a little bit because I thought it was a little bit too loud. Um, but you let me know. I mean, you've heard my mics before, so I won't tweak this one at all. Um, I'll leave it as it is on the footage um, and I won't tweak the Boya that I had just a few minutes ago on either. So you can get the comparisons between the Boya Accorded and this, what did I say it was? The K35 Pro. We'll see what we get. Now there's several copies of this one out there. Uh, matter of fact, there's a Boya version of this. So it's kind of interesting because, you know, of course, it's all probably made in China. So it just depends on who got the label on it and who didn't. You know, did Boya put a label on one and cost you, uh, you know, several dollars more? Or is this a cheap knockoff of the Boya? Who knows? So anyway, I'm going to take this in and edit it. And I'll come back and we'll have my thoughts on it. So that didn't work out too good. There's a high-pitched squeal going on when I was listening to the playback on computer and everything. So I can contribute that to lighting source maybe. So I have one fluorescent light left in the garage and the rest in here is LED. So we're going to see what's interfering. Is it that fluorescent light? Well, if it is, I'm going to go kill it real quick while the microphone's on, while we're recording. So I killed that one. We'll see if that takes away that squealing sound that I was getting, which I lost a lot of light because my other LED light now is out. So I'm down to the LED light here, the LED light here, which I can change the color of it right now. While we're on the air, I think it's this one right. Nope. It's the other one. So let's change the color of it. Still not as bright and a little darker. So I don't know if this is going to do it or not. So let's do some another test. Let's kill. Let's kill these lights all together. And hit power off. Oh, dark. Let me turn on the overhead light back on. Got the overhead light back on. And I've got these off. So I'm dark, which kind of stinks. Um, let's turn these back on. Let's turn off the background light behind me, which I can do fairly easy, like so. Now yeah, it's dark in the background, which no big deal. I can always move one of my little lights to put behind me to get a little background light, or I could turn it to where it's shining up there. We can get a little background light back there. So let's see which one did anything, or if any of it. Or let's turn this one off, have that one off, and these off. And I've just got this one. We'll see what that does. We're going to nail it down, and we'll see which one's causing the background squeal, hiss, whatever you want to call it. Huh, got green. Anyway, we'll, we'll try this out and see what we get. Well, that didn't work. So, Mr. Rocket Man, that will be coming back to you. And I'll be saving up my quarters of dimes and nickels. Um, I guess we'll try another one at some point down the road. Uh, for right now, I'll just work with what I got. But, uh, yeah, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. And I've tried it already a couple times on the cell phone and on my tablet, and it worked fine on there. But it did not work 
worth of turkey on the camera. And like I said, right now I've got a corded lav mic hooked up to the um, camera. Matter of fact, it's the Boya. It's the Boya. There's the pack it goes in. It's a Boya. I think it's M1A or AM. I'll put the prefix down below. But it's the one I use when I'm in the garage and I'm videoing in here. Um, to me, it sounds really good. It's, you don't pick up the background of the dryer is actually running right now. You can't hear that. Um, I don't think. Maybe you can. I don't know. But we'll move on and we will try something different down the road. I appreciate you watching. Thanks for hanging out for all the tests and trials and tribulations of a well, failed microphone. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Appreciate you watching. Don't forget, we've got our YouTuber meetup coming up in May 12th through the 14th, Big Ridge State Park. Hope to see you there. Be prepared. See you on the next one. <music>